I want to get back to sort of the innovation and um, challenges in, in marketing and branding. I mean, I think, um, you know, one of the things uh, I think of uh, when I watch TV, I rarely, I rarely turn on the TV uh, and watch a, in, uh, a commercial. Uh, always, it's always DVR'd. It takes a lot less time than spending an hour. I'd spend, you know, 45 minutes if I have that time to spend, um, you know, watching a, a commercial and, or watching a TV program and skipping the commercial. What are the most innovative concepts that are coming up? Sarah, I'd like to, to hear your thoughts on this. Sure. The most innovative concepts that are coming up in branding and advertising from your perspective. Yeah, well, the, the new world is, is uh, digital. Um, social media is um, uh, kind of the, uh, the hot, uh, hot theme at the moment, um, uh, the idea in marketing. And particularly, I think, if you're, uh, if you're in the earlier stages of uh, trying to establish a brand, uh, the goal is to try to, you, you have to be very clear as to who your target is. Uh, and and uh, use social media to try to build a community of your targets. Um, the, uh, the opportunity social media represents, uh, distinct from, for example, mass media like television and, um, uh, and magazines, is that you can communicate one-on-one -on -one with, uh, with the consumer. Uh, it's, you know, mass media is wonderfully efficient, and you can get to 16, 20 million people. Uh, dealing one-on-one -on -one is a lot more work, obviously, and is, uh, is a lot more time-consuming. But in the early stages of building a brand, uh, it allows small dollars to work efficiently, and it allows you to build a core, and then it allows you to grow out from the core. So I, I think digital media, particularly social media, is, uh, is an area that has particular importance. So I, I, I take that and maybe uh, break it down into three pieces maybe to, to focus on. Um, one is uh, viral video, two, search retargeting, and um, um, tar targeted mobile um, display, or three, three carries. And so we um, talked about in the last um, discussion here about the Pepsi uh, video with Jeff Jordan. They got millions and millions of views. So I think if you're going to do video, you got to do video that's going to stand out in some way. And when you put it out in an online environment, it's going to be shared. Because I, 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 don't, I won't spend any money on television advertising that I would place in a standard buy because for that very same reason. You either have to have massive dollars that you can afford all the waste or you can put it into um, sporting events like uh, um, that people are going to watch live. And so that, so, so you got to do, and that takes a lot of creativity because everyone's trying to do it on the viral video. Um, but it can be done when you break out. It can be very, very powerful. Um, search retargeting is, an, is another uh, really, uh, really cool thing. So, um, you know, as we look at all the usage of our site, you start to create profiles, um, and you can do that across sites. Um, you know, what are people looking for? What are they doing? Um, you're cooking them. You're creating profile, and so when they show up on another site, you know what their interests are, mm -hmm. and so now you can much better target um, your advertising to um, uh, to a specific audience and down to a specific anonymous individual, because um, you got to be careful about being anonymous. But, but search retargeting is, is, is a really big deal. And then mobile is, is ultimately where everything's going. And so we just bought a company called Sense Networks, which is a really cool technology for um, uh, creating uh, mobile consumer profiles. And so that handset that you carry around every day, um, all the apps, if you have location-based services on, all those apps are pinging these uh, massive um, exchanges for, for mobile advertisers. There's huge amounts of data that's going up from everyone's phones right here, right now, and where you are all the time. And so we're, we're taking a giant fire hose to these exchanges, and we're taking all that information, and we're creating unique profiles about individual handsets. And so that we, we have 150 million individual profiles that are constantly getting richer. So if you're, uh, you're around, uh, we see you around a Home Depot, we, we literally plot them on maps. So there's a Home Depot there, and he's been there three times in the last two weeks. Probably someone who's interested in home services or other things, or you're around auto dealerships. So you can, you can start to really drive click-through rates and performance of your advertising based on this type of targeted, uh, targeted uh, mobile. And so that's actually a product we use and that we're selling um, to large advertisers today. And Steve, I don't want to hear anything about viral videos from your products, but uh, what are your thoughts on uh, what are your thoughts on innovation? I actually have a really great story about a viral video. <laughs> we actually filmed a cat 
a mechanical cat on a plane to talk about our Summer's Eve party, and we, we did it unbranded. And it was, it was a really funny play on words, and um, we got about three million hits on that. And then three weeks later, we, you know, we took ownership of, of the cat, Car, uh, Carlisle the cat. So, uh, so even for us uh, uh, small companies, we, we can use viral video. It's been really effective. But I don't have a lot to add. Uh, that was quite an uh, interesting uh, uh, explanation by David. But omni-channel marketing, um, you reach younger consumers now on their, on their handsets, um, on Facebook. And um, they're not, you know, they watch TV, but they're not always there. And that's the big challenge. Um, experiential marketing as well, um, going to think, going to events um, that, that we can participate in. It's um, very time consuming, very labor intensive, uh, but those are the kind of things you're gonna have to do to reach today's consumer.